to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series. In today's episode, we are going to learn about the nav and the tabs component that's provided in Bootstrap. This is part 34 of the series. If you haven't checked out, please do check out the complete series. I plan to cover more than 40 tutorials in this particular series. Right now we are at 34th episode. All right, so this is the index uh, or the you can see the table of index that I have covered all the tutorials that I've covered so far. You can see a lot of things have been covered in detail with live coding and examples to help you understand better. Today we are on episode number 34. Today we are covering about bootstrap nav and tabs. If you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you in advance. All right, so remember few things. So Bootstrap provides excellent navigation components, right? So we can use it in different styles and different uh, modes. One of the quickest way to get started is using a nav, right? So the class is nav and the important classes are nav, class nav item. It tells you that which is which are the child inside that navigation. If you want to place a navigation link, you can use nav hyphen link class. And if it's active, you can use the class active with it. There are multiple variations. If you see any bootstrap based uh, theme or a template, you would see that these can be used in sidebar, can be used in the footer, can be used in the main header. So there are different areas in the page where you can use them. The common logic is same, the code is same, where you place them will differ. We'll see some more things when we do hands on now. We'll also see how to use tabs. All right. So that being said, let's jump into our hands-on example. I have an empty bootstrap thing that we are using for all our examples. And how does it look? It looks simple, just a sidebar and a uh, top navigation. That's all it has. And the reason I'm keeping it empty is also because I want you to see how it looks from ground up and not something ready-made template. All right, so that being said, uh, let's go ahead and implement our nav. So I'm going to throw in a card first. And then we are going to define card content. So this is where the card content good goes. Um, you can just test it right away whether it works. It works. All right. So you might want to add some margin right, um, or padding to it. So I'm going to add padding three. So it looks a little big and good. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and implement my navigation. So I'm going to use a ULLI class, right? and you're going to give class equal to nav. That's the main uh, thing that you will use. And for each of the list items that I'm using, I'm going to call it nav item. And I'm going to, let's say we are providing links, right? Um, let's say sub links for now. So I'm going to say home and let's call this products. Let's call this contact us. So you have three child items inside this particular nav now you can see all these things by default will come in single inline now you can give some padding spacing etc and if we want to add some links inside it you can give that as well and you can say nav link right oh, sorry class equal to nav link for now don't go anywhere all right and you can give here also so now i'll copy this same thing I'll do for the products. Same thing I'll do for the contactors. So basically now you would see that you will have three beautiful inline nav items, right? Now you can have multiple variations. Like I said, you can have a uh, drop down menu. You can have tab. You can have colored active. So you can give active class if it's an active one. So again, you can define that style and you can override how you want it to look. All right. So now let me go to the website and show you some more variations of it. Uh, it's easy to always start with um, navs and tabs. Um, you refer to documentation. That's the best place to start. I'm trying to help you to see how to read that documentation. You want to disable a particular link on some page. You can use disabled attribute and that would also show up. So now see it has become disabled. You can't click it anymore. 
right so that's one of the options then you can also use something like <coughs> where do you want to align it right you want to center align it so just use the class justify content center right and where do you use it you will use it on the parent which is nav so you'll say justify content center so this should bring your content to the center like this right now a lot of places uh, you can see such behavior where you have a sidebar some main menu it can be in the center so that's also a good design that is found in nowadays in most SaaS applications if you want it at the end you can just use hyphen end and it would send that to the end which is to the right side this is also again a good feature if you just want to add some links along with that right so feel free to use it anywhere you like it you can do it vertical just say flex column and it would come vertical so this is what is the code if you want to use it on a sidebar like this now same way these are the navs right now tabs are a flavor of it right how they look different is they will have a little border here which will show that it's a tab and all you have to do is for the nav you can just I'm going to say center and I'm going to say these navs are nav tabs now nav tabs is just a new way of representation right so it would have a um, <coughs> kind of a border which comes like that so let me copy this code and put it inside our ULLI it's the same piece of code you have nav you have nav item nav link right so you see the border is here and you can take the mouse over and you can see little border that comes over it this is an active so it comes with the border here right so this is another variation that you can use if you don't like that and you want to have a dark border instead of a, the complete box should be highlighted box model you can use it as a pill so instead of nav tabs make it nav pills so that's what will make it a nav pill right so that's pretty much uh, that you have about uh, nav navigation how you want like again these are all different uh, variations of it of how you want to design but the underlining core principle is what I just told you which is using the nav class each child item will have a nav item and followed by nav link and whether it is active or not now based on that you can do a lot of things in terms of design upgrading styling etc if you want to quickly style this active class something else you can do that as well let me show you real quick and here you would say inside nav tabs inside nav if you find a class called active put the background color to let's say light yellow so we can easily customize that now inside that you have nav and then you have nav nav link and active so I'm going to say let me check that real quick background color style inside nav you have the nav item and nav link okay that's an anchor tag right so you can do that also you can say if you have a nav and you can put a dot active most probably you might want to give since there are some classes overriding so you might want to override the default one right so that's what is happening here let's say if you want to put it I can put it something like this and you can show different colors right this is one way the other way is to use the native uh, background colors that you want to use if it's active you can just put hyphen say success or danger or whatever you would like to call it like this is success so it is showing green color right so so now see it shows background green with white color so you don't have to really write the CSS instead use the built-in typography and the classes designed for the colors I hope uh, nav and tab is clear to you um, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you thank you so much for joining in this episode I will continue the series in the next episode we will learn about bootstrap placeholders
That's all for today. If you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arctutorials. Thank you so much in advance.